doing what they need to do. But one thing I want to mention, we talked about your accounting estimates, and that's something that you're required to, uh, from the administration standpoint, required to uh, be responsible for. Well, this year, last year we talked about your net pension liability. This year you had another GASD, which is your OPEB, which is your other pension employee benefits that were required to be put on your balance sheet on those government-wide financial statements. Now, uh, let me, in layman's terms, th those are the amounts that, that, is, that are not funded by your retirement plan or your other employment, post-employment benefits, but they're requiring you to put that on your, your balance sheet now. In um, those numbers, I think you add the two together, it's about $2 million of how it's affected your numbers negatively. Um, but as I've said to y'all before in this meeting and other entities that um, any government entity, school boards, uh, board of works, everybody has, has that issue on their statements that uh, what does it really mean? And um, I'm not real sure. It means that somebody's got to figure out a way to come up with all this money and that's why people are hollering at the legislature and that type of thing. But as far as running the county, your bonding agencies and the people that, that determine the, 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 the value or the worth of what's going on in the county, they ignore these numbers. So from a financial standpoint, and you know, as you think about where the county's going or you know, if you're gonna need to, to, to get some more bonds and stuff, that debt really means nothing. Um, but it, it, it's not anything that makes you feel warm and fuzzy though. Um, so hopefully, the administration or our legislature or however the rest of the world figures out how we're going to come up with that money, they'll figure it out, but it's out of your control. 